Bob After joins us again. Friend of the show. There is so much to talk about, Bob, uh, the NIHL. How's everything been going since the last time we talked to you? It was about uh, six months ago that we had you on, and it was a exciting time with the Blackhawks, the entire hockey scene. And here we are post-holidays, a lot of great stuff going on and off the rink. How you been? What's going on with the entire organization? Hey, it's good to be on. Thanks for having me. Uh, a lot's going on. This is actually one of our busier weeks. Uh, we are in the planning stages for all the championship games at the UC, six of them on February 18th. So we got a couple meetings this week that we've had to plan and get the music and the choreograph and the locker room and the logistics all down. Uh, so we'll probably have several more of those meetings. Uh, Monday night is the girls all-star game uh, at Canlin and Romeoville, West Dundee. I mean, West Dundee, not Romeoville. And uh, Wednesday night is the boys all-star game at Glacier Ice Arena. So we have a lot going on in the next week. And then we get ready for our championship game and our Wounded Warrior uh, event that's um, being planned out and really upscaled this year. So hopefully that becomes a, a great event on February 25th. And we know it's going to be. The vibes are always great. You guys bring the spirit and it's always just good energy. And that's kind of the the whole idea of all this is kind of bringing the spirit of hockey along with the fandom and the parents and everybody who enjoys and loves the sport to kind of introduce it, expose it, and also show its appreciation to all the different organizations that support this great sport. And Bob, we talk about, we're gonna, I want to talk about what's going on with the Wounded Warrior and the Premier Championship, but really fast, the All-Stars, the the stars themselves that, that make that yeah. are going to grow this sport and be the next Conor Bedards and all these great athletes and uh, citizens from going through college and all this, playing this great sport. He tells a little bit about the girls and boys, the All Stars, what we've seen from this crop of kids that you know on and off the the rink, how how they interact with each other and interact with the sport itself, and representing the the organization and hockey here in in Illinois. Yeah, now, uh, the, this year is the first year we had a well, girls event. Uh, we did the boys event years ago, and then throughout the years it, it just uh, got canceled and not started because it was hard with logistics. But we restarted it three years ago, and then this year we decided to bring on the girls' event because everybody was loving the new event, and we'll call it new because we restarted it, and the last three years have been such a big success that this year with the growth of the girls' side to almost 50 teams, we decided to bring on the girls at the top levels also, and the response has been phenomenal. So we have three games starting at 5 o'clock uh, Monday night uh, with the best of the best. We, we do something a little different than like your normal pro games, each team gets the same number of, of, of skaters. So the girls, the top teams in the league will get six skaters onto the four skaters and onto two skaters, depending on where you finish in the, in the standings. And we take and we divide those in half and put half on one side and half on the other. So they're actually playing against themselves. And the kids and the coaches really seem to like that. It's a, They get to meet more kids that way and they get to play against their friends. So it's kind of a nice touch. We do that on both the boys and the girls. And they're, they've just taken to this. So is that something that you've noticed from this crop of athletes over the last like three years, especially with the boys and now introducing the girls that they are so willing to just learn and, and go head first into whatever this sport and, and the teams ask of them? Yeah, they, they love it. They'll do whatever, any, any extra accolade they can get. They appreciate the amount of nice comments we get afterwards is, is wonderful and it makes it all worthwhile. We tried something different last year with the boys that we're going to continue on is um, in case a game goes to overtime because it's an all-star game and, then, you know, the, the outcome is really not that important on winning side. And we'd like to get everybody the same amount of ice time as possible. The overtime becomes six on six with no goalie. So, and it's not sudden death. So, because obviously with no goalie, you don't want to end in two seconds. So last year we, we did it in our 12 U game. We actually went to triple overtime before we finally got a winner. It was kind of a, Cool event and everybody loved it so we're going to bring that back this year so that should be fun speaking of fun i for all those who are going to be listening to this on youtube over at the sports cubicle or anywhere else where you get your favorite podcast at sports from the couch and of course wcpt 820s spotify and soundcloud we have an amazing event going on at uh, wolves night that is coming up really fast really it, when you're doing this event, first of all, what the event is about, but these type of events, just being part of the community and having such a fun time on all the levels of hockey. Talk a little bit about that before we get to the UC. Okay. The, the Wolves, uh, it's their 30th anniversary. So they asked if we would participate in the event where they honor all 
Wolves players that played through Nihil, which there's probably about 25 to 30 of them. Uh, it's an event where they're, we, they're showcasing, I, I want to say, seven to ten of them, where they're going to put them on the scoreboard with their Nihil picture and their uh, picture last time with the Wolves or the three that are currently with the Wolves. They're going to be on the scoreboard, and they offered a discounted ticket price to any kid playing in Nihil based on Nihil uh, Wolves. So that's kind of a cool event. And it's kind of funny because one of the uh, skaters is actually a kid that I coached with my older boys many, many years ago, like 2008 or 2009. So we had a good time in the Nihil Championship, and well, I still have the team picture when we won it with him in it. So that's where we got that picture from. That's amazing. And I think that's what we always talk about, like the community, the communion that has been this hockey family that is especially the Midwest, Northern Illinois, this entire organization. I think it's been really cool to see. And we're also going to get into this stuff in February because it's kind of monumental in its own way, right? Like being able to do something with Wounded Warriors and then having something so prestigious as the premier championship games at the United Center, it's it's kind of like this big moment, you know, it's playing a big game. If you're a basketball player at the United Center, it's if you're playing a baseball game at Wrigley Field or at a uh, 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 guaranteed rate, you know, it's it's one of those big things. How Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in February? I know this is something you guys are very proud about. Yeah, this is something that's great. So our, our championship weekends in February run from the 16th to the 18th is our, our first one, which is girls and some of our top boys levels. And the 23rd to the 25th, which is our uh, lower gold, silver, and bronze levels. And this year, the 18th, our very top levels for the three premier select, which is our top boys level at 10, 12, 14, our two college junior preps, 16 and 18, and our top girls, 16, 19 level, is at the UC, part of a big event. The Blackhawks have been phenomenal. We've had planning meetings. The experience is going to be just like they're in the NHL. I mean, it's going to be using those locker rooms, coming through those tunnels, three stars of the game. It's going to be a phenomenal event. And the, the planning phase and the amount of time and energy that not only us, but the Blackhawks and their whole staff have put into it is phenomenal. So I am so looking forward to see what's actually going to happen. And it's going to be a fantastic day starting at about 8 in the morning and going to about 9 at night. So Please, uh, anybody that's in the neighborhood, stop on by and catch a game in, in between there while it's going on. Bob, I know we could do this all day. I know the last time we had you on, it was nearly half an hour. We were just jibber-jabbing about the game and stuff going on and off the ice and the impact of the Blackhawks to the Wolves to the Ice Hogs all the way to any of these other club teams that impact hockey, especially here in Illinois. And I just, from here from the sports cubicle for Devin Tingle and Paul Shabari and, and Dan Barber, we're so proud of what you guys are doing and the athletes and the families that come through this program organization before we let you go, you know, you're always so great with your time. How can people support what you guys are doing? How can they get tickets? Who can they, can, can they go to the website? What are some of the ways people can make sure that they don't miss these awesome events? People are always looking for fun things to do. We found a way to find you some good stuff. Absolutely. They can go on the website. Uh, we have a tab at the top of our calendar, which has these events. The all, all-star games are free. So all parents and, and friends and anybody that just wants to catch good hockey, go to it. I believe the championship games are a $5 cover, but the wounded warrior game, which is on the 25th is the whole proceeds go to veterans and the wounded warrior club themselves. And we have actually had some meetings with um, the wounded warrior associations of Will County and all veterans. And I, think they're planning a pack the house and they're trying to really uh, jam the stadium so that they can get a lot of proceeds and we're going to set up a, a fundraising link and hopefully this year we raise a, a lot of money for them in, in, a, in addition to having a good quality game with our people so follow it's, it's going to be a fun event follow us all over social media we're going to make sure that we post those screenshots up there especially as the weeks keep going on and some of these events keep coming through we know it's an exciting time and people are going to be looking for fun things to do as winter hits and you want to stay indoors we're going to make sure you watch some fun hockey at the very least he's friend of the show he's the president of the nihl he's bob after bob you're too good for this place you make this place a classy yeah. joints in the sports cubicle thank you so much for joining us my friend thanks for having me it's been a class i can't wait to do it again